Welcome back guys. In this video we're going to build the cart item. So currently you can see that we have got all of this uh, titles available which is product, price, quantity and total and that's what we built last time in the previous video. Now we'll build the cart item which is the component that we are looping through. We'll loop through each item of the product and just display them one by one over here. So inside of the cart item the first thing we're going to do is basically just go ahead and uh, write all the information so in fact we need to pull it from the props first okay uh, because we are passing all of the information in the props so rather than saying like item and then is equal to props rather than pulling it over here it's best that we do it on top and save that one line of extra code so instead of doing that we can just pull it here so we can say item we also want the set card function which we have okay now the next thing we do is uh, we go ahead and use the yeah again we need this in tr because we are dealing with trtd right now so we'll put tr and uh, we're going to set the class name for this as well so we'll say woo next cart item key will be item dot product id so you can see we already have that here inside of the item the h class name would be woo next cart element and we also give another class name to this which will be woo next cart element close if you want to style it we can check it out okay awesome now we can have a span tag inside of this which can have a class name of woo next cart close icon and inside of this we can have the close icon so we can give it a class we are already using the font awesome so font awesome has a class which is far far times circles is going to give me a cross icon so if you notice there you go you have got the cross icon right here right and it's also going to have an on click event when the user clicks on it then we are supposed to remove the item from the cart so we'll just add that here so let's say on click and then this will going to take the function so we'll say event and then it's going to go ahead and uh, call a function so whenever this is clicked then we should remove the item from the cart so we'll add a custom function which is called handle remove product click okay and it's going to accept event that we're passing here handle remove product click and then we're just going to go ahead and uh, put that here so const In fact, we can put this function outside instead of putting it here. So we can probably what we can do is we can pass this function like this and define it on top. And we'll deal with this later when we are creating the remove item functionality. Okay. Uh, so since we are passing it as props, we'll just pull it awesome looks good next thing we need to do is uh, display the image right here so again we'll do a td with the class name of woo next cart element image so let's give the image a width of 64 pixels we don't want 
a big image it's up to you if you want to have a big image you can certainly inside of the source we already have the image source available so it will be item dot image dot source url yep and we also put the source set so in source set we would have the item dot image dot source set okay this one okay awesome then in the alt we can have the title of the image so we can say item dot image dot title all right so you've got the image there let's see if we get that awesome we've got the image that's great and the next thing we need in fact we can put this over here like cross icon <coughs> image next one will be quantity or rather name of the product so name and again we can have a TD with a class name of cart elements so I'm just going to copy that I'm too lazy guys so <laughs> all right so got that and then we'll just say item dot name item dot name and let's see we got the name that's awesome so we're doing well guys congratulations then uh, we will have the price that's what people will be interested in to know what's the price so I'm just gonna copy paste save time for me and for you so item dot price dot to fixed because if we might get some decimals we don't want that and if we even if we do we want only up until uh, the two decimals uh, two digits after decimals decimal okay so great that's great regarding the currency if you're wondering about the currency I'm going to cover that in the uh, upcoming videos we're definitely going to deal with currencies and we're going to add that here and here wherever we mentioned price okay next thing quantity set quantity and then for the quantity we'll just do td again it's the same class name so I'm just going to do a copy paste first and then this is going to have an input because we're going to go ahead and let the user change the quantity in the cart page so I'm just going to put that there so type is going to be number not going to be a text so we can break this in multiple lines because we're going to add more attributes here so minimum let's set it to one he shouldn't be able to select anything less than one he won't allow him <laughs> okay class name would be who next cart quantity input you might realize that we don't even need these class names but I'm doing that for you guys in case if you want to style it it's going to be much easier rather than having to write the class for each of these elements yourself again okay product count all of this code as is going to be available um, inside of the uh, github repository okay so you don't have to worry about it so if you just go to github repositories and then you go to woo next then you can see that this is a master branch where you will get all of the code that is available so even if you don't type it it's fine okay so you got the product count so we definitely need the product count so where do I get that from so what we're gonna do is we will go ahead and create a state so what we're going to do is we'll import use state because this is going to change so we need to put this value into state so that we can edit it from react now we'll just say product count and then a function 
that allows us to change its value. So product set product count is equal to u state. item dot quantity okay okay awesome so we've got the product count over here and we just need to add this function on change so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, add this function right here which will be on change like this Uh, actually we have to set a function to handle the quantity change on top so what we'll do is we'll put that here instead so we'll say handle quantity change is equal to we're going to get event over here and then this is the place where we're going to handle the quantity change okay handle quantity change right here okay and uh, also inside of our handle quantity change what we're going to do is we will first check that if we are on to browser so process dot browser I've explained this earlier also that we do this so that because our component gets rendered on the server side first all of the data comes from the server side first so we don't want to go and, and local storage won't be available there so that's why we are doing process.browser we are checking that information first okay so what will be the new quantity so const new quantity is equal to so we have it inside of event so event dot target dot value okay so this is going to be that and then we're just going to use the set product count um, and then we'll pass the new quantity now you must be wondering why did we do this process dot browser over here and it's only because uh, when we update the cart with that information uh, and we were going to need to access the local storage and local storage is not available on the server side it's only available in the browser so that's why we're checking that information so we will put that there that update the cart this is to do for us okay let's add add to do awesome so I think we're good here so far what else do we need so we've got the quantity you can change it now we need the total information so let's say we want total again we'll use the same thing And inside of the total, we just have to say item dot total price instead of price to fixed. Let's see. Awesome, guys. We have built the cart page. Isn't that brilliant? And we have all of this information going on. And notice that if I go back to my home page, what will happen is that if I go ahead and make any changes, let's say if I click over here, you can see that this gets changed this gets changed this gets changed you come back over here and there you go all of the products already added isn't that wonderful awesome we'll worry about the style later I, I think that this needs to be center line which which we can do later I'm not going to make you watch me writing styles but you get the idea you are able to display all of the products uh, over here and uh, all of the price that has been mentioned he can change it but we still have to add the functionality of updating the cart when he makes the change over here okay so I think in the next video what we're going to learn is how to update the cart and also about um, in the next video or the upcoming video we will learn about how to remove the item from the cart so I hope you did like the video if you did like it please give it a star to my repository to support me and also follow me on github you can hit the follow button once you go onto my profile you can hit the follow button which should be somewhere here and also follow me on Twitter that's why that's how I feel that you guys are connected to me and uh, you know you get to know about uh, what's happening and uh, you know what are the new things that I'm doing okay all right then 
see you in the next take care bye bye and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you